Amen. So praise God. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home. Amen. Amen. Where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Mm -hmm. Bienvenido a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. And he's got something for you. So yes. he's not holding back. We're the ones that holding back. Amen. Uh -huh. We're going to be talking about total surrender. Amen. We're celebrating uh, uh, Memorial Day. As a matter of fact, uh, let's, uh, let's do this, Carmen, before we get going. Hallelujah. Let's make this declaration together. Hallelujah. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do it. What it says I can do today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. So praise God. Amen. So he's not finished with you. This is only the beginning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. Amen. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. I've got a couple of things I want to read at you before uh, we get going. So prepare yourselves. I think uh, just look at your uh, handout. I also have it on the screen. The script, well, this is not the one, but let's, let's read this together. We're celebrating Memorial Day tomorrow. But we're celebrating today. Amen. Amen. Also, Amen. Memorial Day is a day that we set aside to remember with gratitude and pride all those who serve and die for our country and our freedom and you say yeah. well you know i had no one serving the military still you live in the freest country in the world yes and that applies to you as well amen so you know you should at least with gratitude and honor to those that have given their lives for yeah. your freedom amen yes. <laughs> may your day be filled with memories and peace amen. god bless america amen yes. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Right. Going to get too deep in that because uh, I don't want to say the wrong things. Keep going. <laughs> Since our country owes a debt to its fallen heroes that we can never fully repay, but we can honor their sacrifice. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Keep going. Hallelujah. Here. Happy Memorial Day weekend blessings. Says, Greater love hath no man than this. The man lay down his life for his friends. John 15, 13, King James. Amen. God bless yeah. you. It says, have a great uh, weekend. Praise God. Keep going. <clears throat> this is where I want to be. Hallelujah. Scripture break. Memorial Day 2024. It says, today we salute all servicemen and service women in the armed forces. Those who have served and those who are currently serving. We remember and honor those who paid their ultimate sacrifice for yes. this country and for our freedom. Amen. We do not know them all, but we owe them all. We also remember and pray for the families they left behind. Yes. Also remembering uh, the sacrifice of our greatest soldier, Jesus. He bravely won a great victory, gave his life not only for a nation, but for all humanity so that we can have eternal freedom amen awesome scriptures if you if you, if you can see them i'll read them to you but it says john three sixteen. for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting, everlasting. life yeah. and we read this a few minutes ago but we'll read it again it says john fifteen thirteen. great love has no one than this Great love has no one than this, that to lay down one's life for his friends. Yeah. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. That, if that don't bless you, ooh, That's it. just let it bless you completely. Yeah. Amen. And pray for those that are serving, those that have given their lives and sacrificed their lives. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Totally surrendered. And that's what we want to do on a daily basis is totally surrender to him on a daily basis amen, amen. and serve him one day at a time 
Yes. <laughs> Don't take it any more than that. Amen. We yeah. are here to serve him one day at a time. Don't multiply it, you know, just to say, Lord, <laughs> I need you. I need your peace. This is the day Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. <clears throat> Thank you. You know, when we take it one step at a time, one day at a time, we can make it. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Don't multiply it. As a matter of fact, let's go to uh, Matthew. We're going to. We were going to read it anyway. Let's go to Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Let me take these off so I can see. Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Says this. King James. But seek first, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. 34 says. Take therefore a no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall uh, take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Amen. So listen, <laughs> today's got enough problems. Don't multiply it by thinking about tomorrow. Amen. Tomorrow's got enough problems of itself. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Seek Him first. And we're going to be talking about total surrender. Surrender to Him daily. Let go and let God. It sounds real easy. <laughs> we just got to be obedient. Yeah. <laughs> and let it go. Since Jesus has greater plans. He has great plans for you. And all we got to do is totally surrender. Totally be submitted. And totally committed to Him. Amen. And yeah. you say, well, what is. There we go. Total, total surrender. I am surrendered. Not only once in a while, but completely. Yeah. All the time. Completely. Amen. Let's remember that. Keep going. There we go. I surrender all. Surrender. I'm glad you asked. Surrender means to give up possession or power. Power of. To yield to another. To yield to him. Yield to Jesus daily. To resign. Listen, what we need to do on a daily basis is dethrone ourselves. All right now, come on. <laughs> and throne him. No, Amen. Yes, Keep him on the throne. Lead him on the throne. Don't uh -huh. take him off once in a while. You know, when you don't need him, you know, hey, <laughs> yeah. we put him back on there. We need you. We need you. We need you. Yes. Well. We need to keep him there all the time. All the time. So dethrone yourself and throne him. And we just read Matthew 6 33. Yes. Seek him first. Not once in a while, not maybe when you need him, you know, but we need him all the time. So keep him on the throne all the time. Woo! Submitted. What is submitted? Submitted means to surrender, to give totally and complete control over him. To, to him. Amen. Give surrender and give total complete yield to yield to yield it to him. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Committed to be faithful, to be dedicated, to be devoted to him. This is what we need to do on a daily basis is to be committed. Amen. You know, just like you're committed to your job, you're committed to what you do. What is your profession? What is your career? You are committed to it. Amen. And stick by it. We need to do this ourselves. We need to be faithfully, faithfully committed to Him. Ooh, let's go again. Let's go open to, uh, I think we have it for me. Just, okay, keep going. I surrender all. That's what we need to do. All to Jesus, I surrender. Mm -hmm. We need to do this daily. Yeah. All the time. Amen. Just leave it right there. Amen. Just go to Matthew chapter 16. Oh, you got the, uh, there we go. Okay, Matthew uh, 16, 24, uh, 24 and 25. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. All right. For whoever would save his life will lose it. Yeah. And whoever loses his life for yeah. my sake will find it. Yes. Says, if any man. <laughs> Any person, anyone, okay, depending on what <gasps> translation you use. Yes. But King James says that Jesus said to his disciples, if any man, amen, the Amplified says, goes like this. It says, 
Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interests, and take up his cross, expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come. Yeah. And follow me, believing in me, confirming, conforming to my example in living, and if need be suffering or perhaps <laughs> dying because uh, of faith in me. So, and then he says, uh, let me see, and For whoever wishes to save his life in this world will yeah. eventually lose it oh, yeah. through death. But whoever loses his life in this world for my sake will find it. This is life with me for all eternity. Mm -hmm. Amen. So first he says, if any if it says if any man, yeah. Then he says, if anyone. And that includes every one of us. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are to follow him. Jesus uses these two words. He puts the label of eligibility on us. Mm -hmm. He puts it back on us. He's done his part. We need to do our part. Yeah. Amen. So we need to take up our cross and follow him. We need, as a matter of fact, he's the head. We're the, we're the body. We're the body. We're the church. You know, sometimes we confuse this. You know, this is just a building we come and we assemble ourselves in. Amen. We are his body. We're the body of Christ. We are the church. Amen. And we are to be about the Father's business. Amen. He done his part. Now we need to do our part. Who is he going to use? If he's the head and he's in heaven, he's going to use his church. He's going to use us. So we need to be happy. We need to be happy and and uh, do for him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. The disciples who followed Jesus each had to make their own decision. Yes, they did. They gave their profession. Mm. If you read the stories, <laughs> first he went to some fishermen. Mm. And these guys yeah. know their profession. They know their trade. <laughs> and they've been out all night. Oh, and they, kept, they caught nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Jesus comes and says, you know what? I need to use your boats. Can I use your boats? And they said, sure. And they let him use the boat because there was a crowd following him. Mm -hmm. And he moved out of ways and he started preaching to them. Mm -hmm. Amen. They couldn't get into the water, so they went all the way to the the, the, the edge of the water there, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he came back when he's done. And then he told the fishermen, Go out, cast your nets, and you'll catch all the fish you want. That's Jose. <laughs> <laughs> and so these professional fishermen <laughs> say, wait a minute, <laughs> we know our job. We know what we're doing. <laughs> and you're trying to tell us oh, what I how know. to fish? We've been out all night. We didn't catch anything. All all but night. here's a big but it says, but we'll do what you say. Mm -hmm. So they obeyed what he was telling them to yes. do. And they went out and he says, Cast your nets. Nets, plural, and they yeah. cast a net, mm -hmm. and they caught so many, so many fish. Mm -hmm. They couldn't. They needed help. They called those other fishermen around them uh -huh. to come and help because yeah. they needed help. Yes, this is our God. We're talking about a big God, but He called them. He called the fishermen, mm -hmm. and I'm glad they changed their minds mm -hmm. about obeying. <laughs> yes. We need to remember to be obedient. Yes. To him also. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He knows more. He's bigger and he knows more. Mm -hmm. And he knows what to do. Yeah. You know when he says to cast things on him, mm -hmm. we need to know he knows what to do with them. We don't. Yes, we is. still we got all these things piled that up. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't know what to do with them. Mm -hmm. And we're all confused anyway. <laughs> and we don't know what to do. And we, we're not going and getting anywhere oh. that he wants us to go. Oh. Because we're too occupied. Oh, come on now. So when he says, cast it on him, mm -hmm. give it to him. Mm -hmm. 
He knows what to do with it. Yeah. Don't, and don't take it back. And you don't need your help. All he wants you to do is be obedient and give it to him. <laughs> Leave it there. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Oh gosh. As a matter of fact, um, the twelve listen, the twelve apostles each had to throw uh throw their nets down, uh -huh. leave their text tables, leave their world offices oh, <laughs> at their own accord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus will uh not force himself on you to do anything. That's Jesus right. has given us free will. Yeah. We must do the same thing. You know this is just me, so <laughs> but Jesus I mean, the father called Jesus, said, son, I need to talk with you. I want my people back, so I'm going to have to send you back to earth. Mm. <laughs> and I'm going to have to sacrifice you mm. to get my people back. And guess what? Jesus agreed. Mm. And he came. And he fulfilled. You know, and every day he, he lived, there was problems. Yeah. And he had problems. But you know what? He went to the father to... Father, I need your strength. I need your help mm -hmm. to make it through this day. Yes. One day at a time, mm -hmm. we need to do the same thing. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need your help. Amen. I need your strength. Yes. Amen. Walk in his love and his compassion with your Jesus glasses on yes. every day <laughs> so that you can fulfill oh. what he wants you to do. Amen. I can't do it on my own. I need your, I need your, your, your love. I need your compassion mm -hmm. to love these people. Mm -hmm. There was some ugly peoples back then too. Yeah, yeah. And Jesus had to face them. Yeah. But he never sinned. And he never gave in. But he needed Father's help. Yes. Lord help. But he surrendered his will. He That's surrendered it. himself mm -hmm. to the Father and says, I'll go and be sacrificed. He agreed to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we must do the same thing on a daily basis is be obedient to him. Surrender ourselves and serve Him. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Get the flesh out of the way. <laughs> yes. Main thing He says, feed your spirit with three three being spirit. Feed the, the Word of God, mm -hmm. so you can be strong in the Word and know the Scriptures and know yes. the Word. He says the truth is going to set you free. Yeah. And your 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 your, your mind. Amen. Your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions. You gotta renew your mind yes. because this world bombards you with all kinds of things. The battlefield is the mind. Yes, it is. And you see things, you hear things, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff going through your head. We gotta renew our minds with the word of God. Yes, we do. Amen. Renew it so that you can stay focused on what He wants you to do. That's right. Otherwise, we're gonna be lost. Yes. And we're gonna be confused, and that could be easy. <laughs> Amen. And 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 yeah, your flesh, <laughs> you say sacrifice your flesh. Mm. Just you know, your flesh wants to be easy. <laughs> wants to take be comfy all the time. Crucify. Crucify. Amen. Crucify that flesh, you know, because the flesh just wants wants easy. They don't want to. Doesn't want to be involved. I'm lazy. <laughs> I've got excuses. <laughs> so crucify the flesh. And you know, if we do these three things, we can fulfill what God wants us to do. Amen. 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 As a matter of fact, he says in uh, Revelation 3 and 20, he says, says, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person yeah. and they with me. Uh -huh. So he says, we gave you a free will. He's not going to violate your will. If you, know, if you don't open, he said, I'm knocking, but if you don't open the door, I'm not going to force my way in. He could if he wanted to, but he won't. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amen. That's it. He wants you to open up on your own okay. and let him in so that he can come in and sup with you. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. The Lord has equipped us with every good work. He's gifted us. And he's given us talents. Amen. In Romans 12 and uh, 12 and 4, it says this. It says, for as in one body, we have many members. Oh, yeah. And the members do not have, do, do not all have the same the, function. That's it. Amen. 
So listen, this physical body has many parts. Mm -hmm. Here it is, Romans 12 and 4 says, For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same function. We have a physical body, and this body has many parts, and every part does their thing. Yes. But you know what? Even though we have many parts in this body, every part operates in unity. Thank God. Oh, we Jesus. work in unity. They Lord. serve in unity. And yes. we need to do the same thing in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we're all different. So we don't have to copy one another. As a matter of fact, I wrote on here. It says, don't be a copy. Mm. Be the original God made you to be. Amen. He's equipped you this way. Yes. Amen. So <laughs> just because you excel in this doesn't mean I have to do the same thing. That's right. Amen. I am called to be a hand you're called to be a foot or you're called to be an eye or you're called to be an ear they all have different functions but they still serve the same body mm -hmm. one body many parts and those parts work together in unity and we can do the same thing in the body of christ we can do the same thing in this world and do what he's called us to do but we got to stay focused on him and serve him he's gifted us Amen. So we can excel in those gifts. Amen. He may give us a voice of an angel. <laughs> Not me and Patricia. <laughs> Sing beautifully. But we have to make the decision to use it for him. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. <clears throat> he may give you the ability to preach the gospel. But we uh, be willing to fulfill this call and accept the call by going and preaching unto him to him amen for him amen so we must be hearers and doers of the word yes. amen Woo, yeah. hallelujah thank you be lord what we need to do is totally totally surrender totally submitted and totally committed to him and be obedient in doing these things amen Woo, hallelujah thank you lord james 4 and 7 says this submit yourself to god submit says Surrender yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. That's it. Amen. Remember that you have authority over him. He's a defeated foe. Yeah. But you got to remind him. That's it. Amen. But All you got to you, you got to <laughs> let him know I'm submitted to the Lord, and I'm taking authority. As a matter of fact, the Amplified says, "Submit to the authority of God. Resist the devil. Stand against him, and he will flee from you." That's it. He has to go. Yeah. He has to be obedient. To the word of God, amen. amen. How often do we sing uh, the hymn of uh, All to Jesus I Surrender? Keep going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I it says, I surrender all. All to Jesus I surrender all to Him. I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily live. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, I surrender all. All to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Amen. We need to do this on a daily basis. Amen. Yeah. As often as we need need it. Amen. Yes. Just to let let him know. Lord, I'm here I am. And I'm surrendering to you. Yes. And he's gonna bless you and he's gonna use you. Amen. So yeah. let's 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 remember this. Trust him. Have faith in him. Thank you, Lord. Uh Proverbs eighteen twenty one says this death and life are in the power of the tongue. And this keeps coming up all the time. Mm -hmm. We need to remember that. We have the word of God and we can speak the right things. We need to make sure that we're speaking life and not death. Amen. Amen. It says death and life are in, in the power of the tongue or the spoken word. Yes. yes. Amen. Words are carriers of life or death. Yes. And we need to remember this. And those who love it, will they eat its fruit? Yes. So, again, make sure we're speaking the word of God. Amen. Amen. Otherwise, it's going to come against you because you're planting wrong things in your garden and you don't want these things to grow in your garden. Amen. So surrender to Jesus. Just just say, <laughs> let go and let God. Mm. Let God have his way daily yes. in your life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I need you each and every day yes. to fulfill what it is that you want me to do. Ooh, praise yeah. God. And let's be hearers and doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving ourselves. Uh, James 1 and uh, 122 says, let's go there. 
James 1.22. He's way in the back. Right on the roof. <laughs> James 1.22 says, Oh, I'm in two. <laughs> <laughs> but, see, for, but be ye doers of the word yes. and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Uh -huh. Amen. So let's 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 remember this. Wow. <laughs> okay. And the new uh, living translation says, "But don't be just listeners of, of God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, yeah. you're only fooling yourselves." Oh my goodness. Amen. Yeah. So let's not. Let's be participators and not just spectators. Amen? That's it, that's it. Don't deceive yourself. Right. Ooh, hallelujah. So what is surrender is talking about? Mm -hmm. Surrender your, your past. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says, St. Corinthians 5, 17 says that we're new creatures in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what the enemy's going to use? You know what people are going to use? Oh, yeah. They're going to use your past uh -huh. because they still remember you because they see the same person. Yes. But I've had a spiritual birth on the inside. I'm a new person on the inside. Yes. So you need to surrender that past. And you know what? Every time people or the enemy uses people to come at you and say, you know, and remind you of your past, you say, you're talking to the wrong person. That's not me anymore. I've given that to the Lord. My past is gone. Don't be a prisoner of your past anymore. That's it. Surrender it to Jesus. Give it to yes. Jesus and let it stay there. Amen. And that's what he wants us to do. Just let it go. <laughs> Let it go and let it stay there. Uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2 says this. So I beg you, brothers and sisters, because of the great mercies of God has shown us, offer your lives a living sacrifice to him, an offering that is only for God and pleasing to him. Amen. Consider what he has done. It is only right that you should worship him in his way. Yes. Don't change yourself to be like uh, people of this world but let God change you inside with the new way of thinking renewing your mind that you will be able to understand and accept what God wants for you know that is good and pleasing to him and what it and what it perfects amen so praise God thank you Lord give yourself give your lives to him amen yes. praise yeah. God thank you Lord in the uh, Philippians 4, 12 uh, at, through 14 says, I don't mean that I am exactly what God wants me to be. I'm not yet reached the goal, but I continue trying to reach it and make it mine. That's what Christ Jesus wants me to do. Mm -hmm. It is the reason he made me his, made me his, brothers and sisters. I know that I still have a long ways to go. But there's one thing I do, I know, is letting go of the past and try to reach the goal that God has for me. I keep yeah. running hard towards the finish line to finish and get the prize that is mine. Amen. Yeah. So let's do this. Amen. No. Is this Philippians? Philippians uh -huh, 3, 12 through 14. Okay. Praise God. Another thing he wants us to do is he wants us to surrender our future. Yes. Surrender your future to him. Thank you. Surrender your future to him. It says leave the future entirely in his hands. You know what? Don't worry about your future. Mm -hmm. Just trust in him Amen. right now. Trust in him today. Amen. It says some think God will take advantage of them. No, just trust him. Some think it's miserable life just because I'm not in control of it. Well, if you give him total control, your life is going to be better. Amen. Ooh, let's remember this. The Bible says, as a matter of fact, we, we, we read this a few minutes ago, but it says, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. Be glad in it. Amen. Amen. So, thank you, Lord, for this brand new day you have given me. 
and I'm going to serve you every day. Surrender your present. Surrender yourself totally, presently, now to Him. You know, yeah. live in the now and, and serve yeah. Him. It says, surrender all to Him right now. Oh. Amen. It says, you say you have a uh, surrender all to God, yet you have fear of the future. Mm. Do not have fear. God is not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. You know, so I'm trusting Him. But you know what He wants us to do? He wants us to live for Him each and every day. One day at a time. Amen? One day at a time. <laughs> so, in closing, Amen. <laughs> total surrender. Give it all to Him. Let go and let God. Basically, that's what He wants us to do. Surrender all to Him. Is the best thing that you can do. Mm -hmm. We're defeated. We defeat ourselves when we try to do it all for ourselves. Amen. Well, Come so on. Much, so yeah. Much yeah. We must learn that His way is the best way. His way is the right way. Amen. Surrender yourself over to God and trust Him to do His part. Surrendering and trusting Him brings victory. Surrender. Yeah to him each and every day amen yes. surrender your past surrender your future and surrender your presence to him each and every day and live one day at a time amen i have a a soldier's prayer and we can give you a copy of this and listen listen uh li listen to the words here this is called the soldier's prayer i am a soldier in the army of my god the lord jesus christ is my commanding officer the holy scripture is my code of conduct Faith, prayer, and the word are my weapons of warfare. I have been taught by the Holy Spirit, trained by experience, tried by adversity, and tested by fire. I am a volunteer in this army, and I am enlisted for eternity. I will not get out, sell out, be talked out, or pushed out. I am faithful, reliable, capable, and dependable. If my God needs me, I am there. I am a soldier. I am not a baby. I do not need to be pampered, petted, primed up, pumped up, picked up, or pepped up. I am a soldier. No one has to call me, remind me, write me, visit me, entice me, or lure me. I am a soldier. I am not a wimp. I am in place, saluting my king, obeying his orders, praising his name, and building his kingdom. No one has to send me flowers, gifts, food, cards, or candy, or give me handouts, except he gave me one today. <laughs> I do not need to be cuddled, cradled, cared for or catered to. I am committed. I cannot have my feelings hurt bad enough to turn me around. I cannot be discouraged enough to turn me aside. I cannot lose enough to cause me to quit. When Jesus called me into this army, I had nothing. If I end up with nothing, I will still come out ahead. I will win. My God has and will continue to supply all of my need. I am more than a conqueror. I will always triumph. I can do all things through Christ. The devil cannot defeat me. People cannot disillusion me. Weather cannot weary me. Sickness cannot stop me. Battles cannot beat me. Money cannot buy me. Governments cannot silence me. And hell cannot handle me. I am a soldier. Even death cannot destroy me. For when my commander calls me from this battlefield, he will promote me to captain and then allow me to rule with him. I am a soldier in the army. And I march in claiming victory. I will not give up. I will not turn around. I am a soldier. March in heaven bound. Here I stand. Will you stand with me? Amen. It's awesome, 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 awesome. Well, in closing. Amen. <laughs> those of you that are watching, uh, if you've never accepted him, now's the time. You know? All you need to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And he'll receive you. Amen. But you need to make those words. You need to confess those words yourself. Say, Lord, I need you. I need you in my life. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And he will. Amen. Uh, regardless of what people have said, regardless of how you feel, if you confess those words, he'll come and be your Lord and Savior. And from then on, just start living for him. Is, you know, just get in a Bible-based church where you can study the Word, be around people 
they're there to support you and help you. Amen. Praise God. So, if you have sickness in your body, just speak to your body. I speak to my body all the time. Be healed. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, I receive my healing according to the word of God. Amen. Any malfunctions in your body, I, re I, I reject them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because my body, I speak to my body to function the way God created it to function. So sickness, I command you to go in Jesus' name. They're not for me. They're not for my body. I don't receive them. I command you to go in Jesus' name. And I thank you that by Jesus Christ, I am healed according to the word of God. Amen. Amen. And it's time to give. You just go to our website, nbcbigbn.com. Hit that donate button. If uh, you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And uh, Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Amen. God loves you and we love you. Praise God.